folks, um, we're here today um, talking to Robert and Catherine Botto. They have Botto's Italian Line Restaurant on Kings Highway in Sweetsboro, one of my favorite restaurants. So, Robert, how long have you folks been here? Uh, my parents came here in the mid-60s, which is approximately a little over 50 years ago, and it was back then it was a small farming town, you know, where every <clears throat> this little town had just about everything, from its three different grocery stores to a movie theater, to um, a drugstore, believe it or not. Back then there was no CVSs and no Wait, Rite Aids. We had yeah. a movie theater? Had a oh, movie theater. Kings Highway. No, it was, in a, it was back off of Allen Street. Okay. <laughs> um, so it was basically, it was, it was a small farming town where everybody shopped in the middle of town. And then naturally as the time went on, the big uh, malls started to come. People started driving more, and things have changed. I mean, our little town didn't keep up with the times, basically. So what did the restaurant look like, Catherine, um, 20, 30 years ago? Because since we've been here, there's been a lot of changes to Bada's. What did your restaurant look like 20, 25 years ago? But the restaurant was a different, yeah. Uh, well, before we, we go any real, before yeah. let me answer that. Before we go any further, our <laughs> restaurant opened in 1998. And the reason why we got into the restaurant business was was we seen times changing, people going out more to eat, and there was a warrant for a quality restaurant in our area here. And what's what's nice about our restaurant, and Haley can contest to it because she's yeah. here all the time, we handle just about everything. It is called Bato's Italian Line. We feature Italian specialties, but we got dry aged beef, we have fresh seafood, we got the best crab cakes. And it, there's a variety. We even do fast food. We do great pizzas, great sandwiches. So it's a place you can eat at almost every night. Right, Hallie? My daughter, <laughs> yeah, right? I'm here a lot. Um, and my daughter's favorite is the tacos. Okay, there we go. We, the tacos. we do a little Mexican flair Mexican. at times. Okay. So if you were to classify what kind of food you have here, what kind of, is it? Continental. 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 It's actually a continental cuisine, which handles just about everything. So I want to go back. What did the restaurant look like? Because I remember when we first moved here, you didn't have the big bar in the front, and now Bada's has a beautiful patio that's wonderful to sit out and enjoy food on nice, warm days. Okay. What did the restaurant look like? Was it just this section this here? This was the same thing. This is the same. Where we're doing, yeah, where we're doing this interview today is, is this is our original room. If you look around, we started here. We've, we've updated recently, but... We try to do a uh, high-end cuisine and just make more of a, a white tablecloth kind of restaurant. And we seem to warrant to have a casual atmosphere. I mean, nowadays people go out more than once a week, <clears throat> thank God. And <laughs> so we, we created a casual atmosphere, which we call our lounge area. And two years ago, we added alfresco dining because we saw the warrant, as Haley mentioned, for people yep. wanting to be outside. And we took advantage of what we have here. We're in the middle of town. So people were very visible to the center of town as people ride through it. And um, basically we, we offer entertainment here on weekends. You'll see a two or three piece band every Friday or Saturday night playing nice current music. So people can come in and have their nice meal, have a few cocktails and they really can unwind and relax and not have a far ride home. No, it's right here. Okay. So tell me some of the favorite dishes. I mean, I know what I love. But what are some of the favorite dishes that you see a lot of people ordering? Okay, so being completely transparent, salsa jalabato is my favorite. Love that. But what else do you see a lot that people order here? Well, naturally, probably our chicken parm is our number one dish here because everybody eats chicken parm. It's like a favorite. Kids eat it. Adults eat it. Everybody eats that. Uh, Haley mentioned our sausage jalabato. We are in a sausage business that we sell throughout the country. Basically, my brother, younger brother, our chef Enrico, came up with a dish called sausage al bato. And what that is, is it's our Italian sausage sliced in bite-sized pieces, and it's done with a nice little hot pepper flair with some white wine, some pepperoncini peppers, mushrooms. So it's a great appetizer. My favorite way to eat it is I put it over pasta. Yeah. It's delicious because the sauce is that good. I don't know if Haley's had that yet or not. Over yeah, pasta, yeah. okay. Yeah, I have. All right. But, um, so we, and we change things up here too. As the seasons go, you'll see we'll bring more fishes in when people you know, want to eat the traditional fish, especially with Christmas right around the corner. We feature the seven fishes here on Christmas Eve. Oh, nice. Which is very popular because people don't want to be bothered with preparing the fish to say come out to eat it. And through our market next door, we do a, a ton of takeout. We do a full line of catering. 
Like I mentioned, Christmas Eve, we do our seven fishes. If people can order them a la carte wise, they can order them by the tray or by the pound, along with everything else that we make. Because naturally, everybody has parties on Christmas. And, and I you, love the catering. And you want to enjoy your party. Yep. So let Bottos cook and you enjoy your party. So um, your catering division, you've got the restaurant, you've got the market, and then you've got catering. And we, my family has partaken in every single aspect. Um, if I don't want to cook, I come here. Catherine makes the most amazing quiches ever. <laughs> Love that. That's that's lunch for a week. Um, but you've also catered my twins' graduation party, um, different events that I've hosted as a realtor. Tell me, what was your most interesting event? Uh, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> we started catering about 30 years ago. A local friend of ours was getting married, and we weren't even in the catering business. We were just doing some simple prepared food in our deli case. And he said to me, I want you to cater our wedding. I says, well, I don't know if I can really do this. He said, you can do it. He says, come up with a menu. He said, you handle everything here. He says, I'll take care of all the other particulars. And uh, we did. We performed a four-course meal for him. He had 150 people. He rented out a hall. And it was easy. And that's what brought us into the catering business. Now we have our own hall here. We could do parties up to 150 people, whether it be a wedding, whether it be a, a anniversary party, a christening, shower, whatever the occasion may be. Today's election day. We got an election event going on oh, here. A meet and greet. That's great. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So like I said, we, so we do that aspect. We do catering to people's homes. <clears throat> people order food, they pick it up. We can even send people to their house. So if you want to, a lot of people like to entertain in their home. As Haley sells them these big, beautiful homes, they want to show it off to their friends. <laughs> so Haley recommends using Bottos for the catering, make them that much more happier. Brokers, luncheons, okay. everything. Exactly, yeah. and that's, that's another reason why we're here today sitting with Kelly, because Kelly is a very good customer and we do appreciate her business. Thank you. So we feed off each other. She brings people to Bottos, we'll bring people to Kelly. So Bottos is right in the center of Swedesboro, beautiful town, historic town. Um, if you're interested in more information on Bado's Restaurant, they're going to be featured on parkbench.com backslash Swedesboro. Thank you so much, Robert and Catherine. I adore you folks, and I adore your food. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.